welcome again. Miracles Within Us presents the Free Angel Masterclass with your truly, Melissa Miranda. And today we're going to be creating a permanent protection shield with the archangels. And um, this is something I find to be very helpful. Um, not that it's something like you need to be protecting yourself against something negative. It's more about feeling that you are supportive everywhere you go. So because I know that I have this wonderful shield around me and I have my four archangels who are permanently around me, um, I, I just feel good and I don't have to worry about things um, and, and I'm not afraid most of the time you know there are moments where there is fear but hey um and it's just of it is great so i'm excited thank you for being here we have Catherine in the room and we have Denise in the room i don't know if there's other people this is what i see now but i'm super excited that you're here with me and i will be looking at the chat box at times I may not be looking at the chat box. I will have a Q&A session at the end of the web webinar here or webcast, masterclass, however it is that you want to address it. Um, I will have a Q&A. So if you do write a question and I did not see it, please write it again when we do the, the Q&A so that I can really give you the information that you need. Okay, awesome. So... Let's talk about what we're going to be learning today. Today we're going to be learning how to create a protection shield and how to clean our aura and our energy field really, really quickly. I'm going to teach you some really fast tips and you can use what you like and what you don't like, you don't have to use. So, woohoo! Super excited. So, before we get into that, I want to also share with you, like, what are archangels and what are angels? And... Um, they're basically the same, you know, it's just names and titles that we put onto them, but the, the essence of who they are, it, they're pure, abundant, blessing light. They're beings of light, and they're just here to experience us and really support us in our own journeys on whatever it is that we are working on in our lives. Okay, their mission really is supporting and helping us. And because they are of the light, right, they're beings of light, they don't need anything from us, right? We are also beings of light, but we don't recognize our own light. They're beings of light that know their own light and know that they can, they have full access to their light. Um, and there's no doubt or delay as is, as it is for us humans. Um, so they don't ask any of us. They do really appreciate thank yous. Um, that's, that's one of the things, you know, they just love when you tell them thank you. They get super excited and they start singing. And that's another thing. Angels love song, <laughs> right? They love singing. They love things that move because singing has so much vibration or, or music itself has a lot of vibration. So it's super awesome. So why why do you think you need a protection shield right now what is it that you feel you need protecting from and feel free to comment in the chat box because as we share we really awaken um this for everyone and when i created my own protection shield ooh, years ago um wow it must have been like a good eight years seven or eight years ago when I learned how to do this and basically you know for me it was because I was fearful of things and like just absorbing energy and as I became more awakened on my journey and remembering who I truly am and the light that I am I became more um, aware of energy and how energy was impacting my life so I wanted something to feel safe and so that I'm not taking all of this on and feeling overwhelmed or scared and also because I was channeling and I didn't know what was happening at first I was scared that I was going to channel something that was bad or negative right something that will try to take something from me 
or, or hurt me or hurt someone that I love. So um, this shield really allowed me to to feel safe in my channeling where I didn't have to think about the fear because the about fear and things like that. We attract those into our lives. So I didn't want to worry about that and I wanted to have something that I knew was there for me. So that's why I did it. So let's see what we have here. We have some wonderful comments here. Um, and let me just see what we have. Yeah, Denise also very similar, right? Other energies, you know, sometimes all these energies in the air. Yeah, exactly. Very, very similar. Catherine says, I, oh, I lost it. <laughs> um, where did it go? Um, let's see. Oh, I, I walk alone in the woods a lot and, um, I drive in hours, I drive an hour twice a day on the turnpike. Beautiful, right? To feel safe because you don't know what's going on with other cars and things can always happen on the road. So that's perfect. Thank you. And Dini says, can protect the fields, help maintain our own energies as a higher vibration? Oh, that's a question. <laughs> Sorry, I totally read it wrong. Okay, so yes, can protection, um, you know, shields really help maintain our own energy? Yes, of course. And um, what we're going to be doing today is creating a permanent one. And even with the permanent one, there are always things we can do to improve, enhance it, and make it stronger. So I will also be sharing that with you um, a as well today. So um, what else we have? Yeah, and then Denise is also agreeing with Catherine. Yes, awesome. So this is great. Thank you for sharing this with me. And why do I think I can help you? Well, this is the reason why I feel I can help you is because I'm passionate about ending suffering and and all this fear in the world. And that in my way of ending it is through sharing with you what I've learned and really allowing you to master your own unique intuition and your own way of not, you know connecting in the world and that's why I think it works in my life <laughs> I know it's going to work in yours it has worked on many people who I've worked with in the past so now let's get to the juicy part juicy part right and this is where we're actually going to start doing our shield right um so let's see what we have here so here we go. I love this image and I had to include it in this webinar, web class, master class. <laughs> I had to add it because it just talks about our energy. Like we really, when we look at ourselves, we only see the physical, but we're like all of this, right? We, we have such a field of energy um, and we walk through life and it's, it's not that it, what it does is that it engages with other energies and it merges and comes in and comes out and comes in and comes out as you're walking through and connecting with different people and different energies and and things like that. So it's so it's so amazing. So I have here some sage which I'm going to use to help us with clearing and cleansing. Okay. And I have here some crystals. Okay, so I have a clear quartz crystal. Okay, and then I have a rose quartz crystal. And you can use any crystal that is around you to do this field. Okay, if you don't have a crystal, pick up a rock. <laughs> and we're going to do this shield together. And I'm going to try my best to show you as accurately as I can. Um, Dini says it's chopping on her end. I'm sorry. It shows that I have full bars of service, so I'm not sure. Catherine, um, you can let us know if there, it's also chopping on you. It's clear for Catherine. Sorry, Dini, that it's like choppy, choppy for you right now. Um, so as we go into this, right, I'm going to first start off with some sage. If you have sage, Please feel free to use them. Um, if you don't have any sage, don't worry about it. We are going to, you know, cleanse. I'm going to, my intention is that 
that I'm going to get sage, you can get that on my site. I sell them there for a reasonable price um, so that you can have access to it. And they're really like big ones, last a long time. So um, here we go. My intention is that we are clear, cleansed, and whole at this time. Okay, so, all right. So first I'm just going to let you guys kind of see that. That's the sage there. All right. And what I'm going to do here is just simply pass the sage around the outer part of my body. Now when you're burning sage and you're putting it close to your body and your clothing, just be careful not to get the flakes on your clothes so that you don't burn any holes and things along that nature. Right? So, and then um, what you can do as well, let me see if I can do this for you. I'm going to move you back. All right. And you're going to take the sage and you're going to also pass it, you know, in your body all the way down to the feet. You can't see my feet, but that's okay. And then you come from the back upward, right, then come overhead, and that is just cleansing your energy. Now, one thing I want to keep in mind, um, and this is going to help clear your energy and anyone else that's around you, um, and also your space. So what's amazing about sage is that it is one of those it has this beautiful smell and scent and properties within it that is not sustainable to anything that is a threat or lower energy, whatever words we want to use. It only, only things of the light can really be connected with the sage. So I'm going to just let it continue to burn and you can do that and use that. Okay, so now right now we just cleared our energy. And you can do this to your space, and you can clear your space as well. Okay. And when you're doing it, it's important that you also put in your intention. So, you know, like I set my intention in the beginning, you know, my intention was that we all get clear, cleansed, and we're healthy, abundant, right? Um, and that we're feeling good, right? So that's what you want to bring in. You don't want to use negatives. So... What that means is you don't want to say, I now clear myself of negativity because it, it, what it does is it's still not that you're attracting it because the smell takes it away, but you, you're not necessarily clearing it all out. Okay, so I don't know if I'm explaining that you want to use it in the positive tense because negative tense create negative experience. So, okay, great. So that's that with the sage, okay? So now I have the crystals, so go ahead. You could take your crystals. I'm going to use the clear quartz crystal. Um, I, put, I, I recommend clear quartz crystals for this. I like ones that have a point, right? So you can see that this has a point, okay? Um, I like ones like that because it shows, like, where I'm doing directions. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a star around us. And this star, once we create the star, so I'm going to tell you first and then we're going to do it. Well, we're going to create the star around us, okay? And it's okay if, if it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. Remember, intention is what's important here. So we're going to create the star around us. And then what we do is we're then going to pick four archangels that we want to work with. Now, if you don't know any archangels, worry about it. You can use the same ones that I'm going to use. But if you have a specific, um, you know, archangel that you want, to, you want on your side, you can use them instead of whom I'm going to be using, okay? And we're going to start from the right, back, left, and then front. So right, back left and then front. I don't know if it shows reverse on your side or not, but just your right, <laughs> then your back, your left, and then your front, okay? And this is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So, and really simple, and you can do this, you know, once you create it, it's done, 
it's there. But you can always do it again. I love doing it again because it just feels good. I feel like great. So that's why I love doing it with you all. We're going to take the point and we're going to use that point to draw. If you have something that's round like this, don't worry about it. Okay, just pick a side that you want to put as your point. So if you want to use that as your point or this side as your point, it doesn't matter. And just create it. Okay, you could use a rock, you could use a stone, you could use a crystal, you could use a gem. You could use a piece of jewelry that has um, a gem on it. Okay, and um, if you're using a piece of jewelry that you're you, that has a gem on it, it should be a jewelry that means something to you. Um, but that you are then going to dedicate to your spiritual practice, right? So it, like an engagement ring or a wedding ring wouldn't be that because the purpose of that is for your marriage, right, or your engagement. So you want something that doesn't have, that has meaning or you want to make meaning to, but it's used only for your spiritual practices. And I also suggest that with your rocks and stones. So use things... If it's in your spiritual practice, you know, you can do whatever you want. This is just my suggestion and what I found has worked best. Okay. Awesome. So now here's our point, right? So here we go. I'm going to draw, draw the star. So I'm drawing my star around me, right? And I'm kind of drawing it like the Star of David. <laughs> okay. So, and you could do it three times. Okay, and I like three just because I like the three. <laughs> this is my third one, right? Right, and just think about like when you draw a star. I wish I don't have paper with me, but like if you think of a star, right? If you do like the Star of David or Metatron's Cube, it's up, down, across, across across to the point. So, mm, 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 mm. okay, up, down, to the left, to the right, and down, okay? And you can do that three times, okay? So, I did my three times. Okay, great. So, now let's take in a deep breath in and let it go. We're going to do two more times. In. And let it go. One more time. In. And let it go. Wonderful. So now we're going to call on the archangels. Okay. So I'm going to start with the archangel that I want to the right of me. Okay. And I'm going to call on Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael... I call upon you now, and you can say the same, Archangel, whomever you want, and I'm going to use Archangel Raphael. I call upon you now to come to my right. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Wonderful. Archangel Raphael has accepted our request. Okay, wonderful. And I ask that you stand here with me permanently protecting and keeping me safe, happy, and that the only experiences that come in are for my joy, happiness, and my lessons. My joy, my happiness, and my lessons. Okay? So joy, I'm going to type that there. Joy, happiness, and lessons. Okay, so that's here. Thank you. So now Raphael is here. Now we're going behind. Okay, and behind me I am going to call on Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel, I call upon you now. I call that you stand behind me. Thank you so much for being here. Has accepted our request. Thank you, Uriel. And I ask that you stay here with me permanently and to keep me safe and protected and that only joy, happiness, and my lessons come through. 
Only joy and have my lessons come through. Thank you so much. Great. So that was Uriel. Now I'm going to call on Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is going to come to my left. Archangel Gabriel, I call upon you now to come forward. Thank you so much. Okay, wonderful. I call upon you and I ask that you stand on my left side. Our request has been accepted. Thank you. And I ask that you protect me and keep me safe and that only joy, happiness, and the lessons are able to come through. Thank you. Wonderful. I call on Archangel Michael. I call that you stand in front of me. Thank you. Our, our request has been accepted. I ask that you stay here permanently, keeping me safe and protected. And that only joy, happiness, and the lessons are able to come through. Thank you so much. And I ask all the archangels and beings of light who want to work with me and to be with me permanently to come and step forward. Thank you so much. And I ask that you keep me safe and protected and that only joy and happiness and the lessons are able to come through. Thank you so much. And let's take in a deep breath in. And let it go. In. And out. One more time. In. And out. <sighs> Wonderful. And it's done. It's that simple. Okay. And some people ask, you know, how do you know that it worked? How do you know that it happened? I know that it worked. I know that it's happened. I know that it's there because I truly believe and trust and have faith in this process. Right? So now I ask you to, to tap into your faith in the process. Think, you know, when we ask from the universe, we ask our angels, it's immediate. Whether we choose to see it immediately, it's our choice. Um, but it is immediate. It is here. We had... We just created a wonderful protection shield. Know that you can do this as many times as you want. You know, um, know that if you do it today and you never do it again, it is yours. You have it. If you don't want it anymore, you can always ask them to leave. Okay, now I would never want them to leave me. <laughs> But if you feel that way for whatever reason, you can say, I now ask you to remove your permanence from me. Now, cancel, delete that now because I want you to stay with me. <laughs> right? But that's what you can share with the angels and know the angels that you have. So the archangels that we chose, Archangel Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, Michael. Okay, this is important and you know where they are. Very, very beautiful. Dini says, I can see your energy when I close my eyes. It's funny how people say they are alone. We definitely are not. There's ener their energy is beautiful. Yes, thank you so much, Dini, for sharing that and participating. This is awesome. Um, so this is amazing, right? I'm just feeling totally blissed out. It feels really, really good, and I'm super excited. So now you created your shield. You cleaned your, your energy with the sage. You can also use the same crystal that you use to create your shield. If you take the crystal, hold it, put it next to your heart, and allow yourself to vibrate with the crystal, you will start cleansing your aura as well. Okay? It doesn't have to be complicated. I am here to share with you the easy and simple ways to do this, not the complicated ones. Okay, so that's my mission. <laughs> that's my goal. And that's also the goal of the angels who are working with me. They really want it to be accessible, so they have made it simple, 
so simple that you can do this anywhere, anytime. You can share this with anyone. You can do this to your home, your family. Everything is just so amazing. Dini says, me too. I feel so much physical pain today. Um, I felt a relief. So good. Thank you, Melissa, for the consistently showing up and sharing your wisdom and gifts with us. Thank you so much, Denise. I love it. Thank you, angels, for always showing me things. <laughs> right? Um, so, I am super excited for this, and I am excited for Q&A. Now, I'm going to open up the lines really soon, so if you have questions, um, that's going to be awesome. So, one thing I want to share with you is a special offer that I have going on um, right now. And I would like to invite you to join the Inner Circle Membership Program. In the Inner Circle Membership Program, okay, it's an amazing place because it's structured for, for you to really strive towards success. Okay, we're constantly working with the angels and we're working more privately with one another. It's a small group and every month you get a reading um, from me and the angels and guidance on whatever it is that you need that month. So this is a great way to do that. And what is so amazing about this program is that we're all in partnership together. We're connecting on a group forum as many times as you like. I'm there every day, so you get to have mwah. <laughs> every day on there for whatever it is that you need and it's a really loving supportive space and I really enjoy doing that program now I'm having a special offer right now and right now it's only $27 a month and it's only through a special link that I'm going to be sharing with you. If you go to my website directly and you go to the Inner Circle, you're going to see that this very program is $39 a month. Okay, And I am offering it here to you today on this webcast, Masterclass, okay, for only $27 a month. And you're locked in at that price as long as you're in the program. You can cancel at any time, but I don't know why anyone would ever want to leave the program. It is super amazing, super loving, and it's really where you get your plugins. And what I mean by your plugins is this is the place where you can totally dive deep and open up your heart. And we have Shay's here. Welcome, Shay. Hi. At oh, Shay's here. Hi, Shay. Hola, hola. Um, Dini says, I need to sign up for it. Again, I miss the community on your calls. So nice to see some of the ladies on here too. Yeah, that's what I love. Like a lot of you who are in the program are also in watching the master class. So you know what this is all about. And this is a great deal um, to be able. And honestly, the value of this program is $265 a month and I'm only offering it to you for $25 for $27. And the reason for this honestly is because I want to be able to have an affordable program where we can all connect and be consistent with one another and give you all the tools that you need as much as possible. And it it's similar to what this is, but it's a little it's definitely more intimate because we get to see each other, we all get to talk um, and hear each other's voices and share and build friendships and it's a great way for all of us, including myself, to really get our spiritual juices running, right? So I love, I love, love, love that. Okay, so this is the link, okay, and I'm also going to put it in um, the, I'm going to put it in the description box right now, and like that you have it, so here's the, the link, alrighty, so if you look at the chat box, you'll have access to this link, and it's 
you will only get this price at this link. So I want you to be very, very aware of that because if you go on my site, you're going to see it for $39. And that isn't the special offer that I'm offering you here today. And it's the same exact program. Okay. It's the same thing, same community. Okay. So I'm excited. I hope to see you there. If you have any questions about the program, feel free to, to ask. Now, let's move into the q and A. I I love this part because I really get to see what's going on for you. Um, and it, it's super, super fun for me. So um, I do want to also share with you that the next Angel Masterclass, okay, will be on April 12th, Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be talking about overcoming our fears with connecting and channeling angels and spirit. Okay, and we're going to get really real on the next session around, excuse me, around the truth around connecting and being um, a channeler and how you can also do that yourself. So I'm excited for that. And you can also sign up for that on this link that I shared with you. It's all there on that page. You're able to sign up for the masterclass and you're able to sign up for the angel membership program. Okay. And if you have any questions and you want to see if that's for you, um, feel free to message me and we can discuss if this is something that will be of benefit to you. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to open up the lines to anyone who has any questions around what they got here today. So today we covered on how to clean our aura. We did that really simply with the sage. You can also do it with your crystal. And there's, I'll show you another thing, which I call the dry bath. Um, and, and I learned this in my Reiki certification. So um, I'll share this with you right now. Let me move this back. All right. Okay, cool. So basically, the dry bath is totally cool. What it does is it's, going to clear any energy that's going on. So let's say you're on the subway or you're in a family member's house for the holidays or something like that and things are just like, ugh, you know, you're not feeling so good. You can totally disconnect your energy in that moment from those people and it's really, really simple and it's called a dry bath. I love it. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot of fun. And it's something that you can do anywhere and no one has to know what you're doing. So um, I'm going to stand up. Let's see. I'm going to move you a little bit back. Hold on. I love how you guys work with me. Okay. So I'm standing here. And the way that it works is that, you know, you stand, your feet are on the ground, flat as much as possible. Okay. And you're going to take your hand and it's going to, you know, I prefer that you kind of close your hand up like this, nice and flat, right, nice and flat. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to pass it three times. One, two, three, then the other side, one, two, three. And when you're visualizing your hand, it's you're visualizing it like a sword or, you know, something that's cutting. Okay, so I like to think of it as a sword. Right, like Archangel Michael's sword or something like that. And what I'm visualizing is that it is cutting all cords from my head to my toes all the way down on both sides. So you do that three times, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you do it from the shoulders down, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you could do it from the elbows down, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you could you want to grab it from the hands, one, two, three, one, two, three, throw it in the garbage, right? Down in the earth, let the earth work its magic and make it disappear. Now, once you do the front, you turn around and you do the back. So you do the same thing, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? And then you're just washing it out, Whoa. Just like that, okay? What's so cool about 
um, the dry bath is that you could make it really fun. So I did it very mechanical with you right now, but if you're on the subway, that's going to look kind of funny or something, or you're somewhere like, you know, in your family's living room or something. So you could do it like really fun and playful. So sometimes I'll just go like one, two, three, and I'm just visualizing like myself doing the cord cutting at that moment in time, and I do the same thing. One, two, three, off it goes, and then it, and then I'll just do it on other parts. One, two, you know, just kind of like like that, and then pet myself. It looks like I'm petting myself, like or caressing or loving myself, and it's kind of doing both, right? It's like loving and caressing, and also clearing yourself from that energy. But what's important in the dry bath is your intention if you're just doing the motions you're you're just doing motions you're just moving your arms around you got to put the intention and that's really important when it comes to spiritually spiritual practice and everything so let's see what we have here do you, do you need other other permanent permission to set um, protection bubbles of them can i do it while i'm sleeping while they're sleeping great question the um so basically, Denise is asking around putting a shield around someone else. So you can create a shield, right? You could create like a bubble of a shield. You could call the angels. You can hold this energy, and you could send it to the person. Okay, so um, and you're sending it to the person's higher self. So you're like higher self, my higher self, their higher self. I'm going to do this. And I'm sending it over. And then that person can energetically accept or decline, okay? Or just kind of be neutral and it'll just stay in their field until they're like at one point like, oh, I'm ready to feel safe or protected. And boom, that then becomes a part of their selves. Because we have free will, we cannot impose ourselves onto others. So, um, so it has to be something... That if you're doing it, you it's it's okay to, to do it, and at the same time know that it's always about permission. So you can do it as many times as you want. If they don't give themselves permission to receive it, they just will not get it. Um, and I know that may suck, but that's just how um, it works. Um, so then we have here from Catherine. I was just picturing doing that on the subway <laughs> oh, wow. hey you know on the subway it's totally cool because that will also get people to move away from you be like i don't want to be around this woman what is she doing she looks a little psycho or whatever right that always works that gets people to move away even when there's no space they'll figure it out <laughs> you know so totally yeah <laughs> So, yeah, when it comes to protection shield, yes, permission is um, is a must. We are not working with um, violating um, other people's um, free will. The angels do not do that type of work, and neither do I. Um, and honestly speaking, if, you know, some people ask, well, I feel sometimes someone did something to me, they did you know, some they cast a spell or they, they're wishing me harm and things are happening in my life. If that's if that's occurring then and you really believe this, then that means you are accepting that as your reality and you're accepting whatever is being sent your way. Um, so you kind of have to decline those things. So having this shield on yourself really uh, doesn't allow for those things to happen. Uh, honestly, because you're, you're, you know, what we shared in the beginning when doing the shield was, you know, that only joy, happiness, and um, your lessons come through. So unless there's a lesson in that for you, for your soul, then it's not really going to be a part of your experience, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of what other things with protection. So, you know, it's pretty simple. I want to make it as simple as possible. 
uh, I do not want it to be complicated. You are now permanently with your angel shield. Okay, do you understand that? Like, you are permanently in your protection shield. Okay, and it's time that you start stepping into what a person who feels safe would do. A person who feels safe and knows that they're always connected, that they're always safe, how does that person live their life? And I want you to, to start now living that life for yourself, okay? That's my wish to you, you know, like I wish that, <laughs> that for you to do that, okay? Now, it's up to you to personally step into this world knowing I'm protected, I'm safe, I know that I'm in this protection and that everything here is for me. Even the things that at some times may seem that they suck. Okay, that is still okay. So I am excited. Thank you all for being here with me. Um, I do I do love these calls. I love these sessions. They're on the second Thursday of every month. So every second Thursday, block off your calendars for 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because every month we're going to be talking about something new that's connecting with energy, angels, spirituality, and, and really just living a spiritual life of fun, of joy, and abundance. And when I say spiritual, I'm talking about being free, like really living a free life. I'm not talking about living rules um, or by a religion, or by culture, or by a society. I'm talking about living free. And this is my goal, is is one of my goals, one of my many goals, okay, is, is to be able to do this and to do it together. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. You can sign up for the next class. Seats are limited, so go ahead, get your seat, claim it now. It's on the link. I'll put the link again right here. So you can have it, okay, and you can sign up for the masterclass there. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I love the multitasking with the tri bath, self love, self care. Yes, thank you so much, D. I love you all so much. Thank you, Catherine. Love you. Mm, I miss I miss all of you, and I can't wait to hug and kiss you energetically. So until the next time, I love you unconditionally. Namaste.